Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll use Flexbox in order to align the hero section elements. Now we'll need to work on the hero. So this is the hero, and it will be considered as the section, and I will wrap two sections, so this course is less, and the hero, and I will use one wrapper, which will be the main one. So, okay, I will not use them separately. I will wrap them into the main, then I will have section one, which will be considered as the hero, and section two will be considered as the course is less. Okay, let's just write the HTML code for that. Here, we'll start with the main tag, which is the wrapper. Go to the HTML code, and... I'll add main sections. And the first tag will be main. I'll add a class main. Then for the first section, which will be the hero, let's just take a look here. So this is the hero and I'll add section tag. So this is section one. Just add a section tag section and I'll use two classes. The first one is the global. So it will include the global styling of each section because I will use two sections, the first one, then the second one, and I will use the section class right here, so the section class to add any global style. But in general, for each one, it has some specific styles. I will add a hero class. This is the global one for each section. This is for each section. I will have a specific name. In this case, I'm having hero right here. And let's just take a look at what do we have here. We have another element within the section which has the headline, a title, and we have also some text right here, and we have a call to action. How to organize that? I'll add first for the title, I'll go for each one, I'll go for class, hero, title, advance, for skills, and for the description, I'll go for a paragraph, I'll also use the class, hero, I'll go for description, and I'll add some text. So this is what I have as a text. Now let's just go to the call to action. So the call to action will be a button. So for that, I'll use the A tag and I'll use the class ETN, which is the global one. And for the hero, I will use hero call to action class. Why I'm using this class right here? Because if I want to add any style for the button, so I don't have to touch this class right here because it's global, it's already used it. And some other buttons. So this is the global one. And this is why I add a hero call to action. Get access for free. Now we have the HTML code, then we'll move to the CSS part. And before I leave you all the code like that, I need two wrappers for this hero. To have an alignment like that, so this advanced your skills and all of that to be centered, I need two wrappers. I will add the first one and I'll add the class hero content. This is the first wrapper and I'll wrap all of the elements. Okay, let's just move all of that from here, here. Now, let's just add that. And the other wrapper, so to center the text, so I will use another wrapper hero text and I'll wrap everything within this div. Okay, now let's just use CSS. So I'll add a comment, I'll go for hero. And let's just go for the first element, hero. This is the selector hero. Just check that from the HTML, the section hero. And I'll use display flex, play the element by using flex, play flex. Then I'll fix the height to 600. 20 pixels and I will justify the content to be aligned at the center on the main axis and at the end and will align the items vertically by using align item center. Okay, let's just check that. Here, move the developer tools and the element of center, this align items is used to center this hero right here vertically and justify content it's just to center the element on the main axis horizontally. Okay, now let's just move to the hero content, the first wrapper, and I'll use a width of 70%. But I need to fix also a max width. I will go for 1140 pixels, and I'll use a margin bottom of 20 pixels. Content at counter. As you see, so the element is centered. I have 70%, but once I have, so this is the maximum width. Now let's just move to the other part, hero text which is the second wrapper. Let's just check that from HTML. This is the second one. I will use also another width of 70%. So I will show you why I use the second wrapper. Let's just put that in the full size. As you see, this is the problem here. Even if I'm using 70%, so the text still very large and they want to just reduce the size because you can't find the problem here. But once I put the website to full screen, so you see that, you see that there is a problem here. I have a large 
wait for the stacks, not for the bottom. For the bottom, I will solve this pro the problem of the of the button. But the problem is with the text. Okay, for that I will use another for the other wrapper. Hello text, and I'll use also another width of seventy percent. Then I will go for, and you'll see that the problem is solved. But we have a problem of the margins. I need to to align all of that at the center. So for that I will use margin, margin right. We'll go for auto. Same for the margin left. Now it's good. Same also for the margin bottom. Margin bottom will not be auto, but I'll use 35 pixels. And you see now it's centered. Let's remove all of that. If I remove margin left and margin right, you see that there is a problem here of aligning the block or the wrapper at the center. And this is what I'm having here. And if I remove the 70%, I will have a problem is the size is full screen. Now let's just add or return to the 70%. Now, as we see, everything is well aligned. Even the stack is not 100% I and mean, it's not longer. And this is what we want as a result. Okay, now let's just go to the hero title. I will add some margins, the hero title. So this is the hero title. And I will go for a margin top of 10 pixels, margin bottom of 10 pixels. Okay, let's just use margin 10 pixels, zero. So this 10 pixel is the stop at the bottom. I'm just lining that lab a bit. Let's check that. Okay, I'll put that at the bottom. Let's just resize that because it's not 100%. Okay, now it's well aligned. Let's check for the title. Hero title. And I need to use the 10 pixel at the top and the bottom. What do I have here? 10 pixel top and bottom to avoid having any problem with this text. Now let's just move to the other one and I'll go for the hero description. The same, I will use the margin bottom 30 pixels. Now to solve this problem of this button, because as we see, let's just close that. So it's taking 100% of this container of 100% of this element. And this is not what I want. Okay, let's just check the element. So this is the element, the wrapper hero text. So this button is just taking 100% of the, of the hero text. And this is not what I want. And to avoid having that only solution here, let's go for the hero. What's the name of the class? Hero ACA or Hero Call to Action. And I'll use display line block and the problem will be solved. So as you see, it's just taking the width of the button. So it's dependent on how much text do we have here. If I just change the text, level have a virtual EDD. So as you see, it's just adapting to the width of the button. Now, if I put that in full screen, you see that the button is well aligned. That's it. We will finish the hero section. And in the next video, we'll go for featured courses.